Hello and welcome to another Moog demo library. Mariana features a modulation editor where you can route modulation to almost all of the panel controls on Mariana and really explore in-depth sound design. To open the modulation editor, you can click on the modulation editor icon in the top left to open the modulation editor panel, or you can press 9 on your keyboard to toggle it on and off. You can also just right click on a knob. In this case, we're going to assign some modulation to the low pass filter cutoff. So if we right click on the cutoff knob, it will bring up the modulation editor and already show us the modulation routings for this knob. A knob in Mariana can have any number of modulation sources routed to it. In this preset we have pulled up, we already have pressure routed to the low pass filter cutoff. So if I play a note by clicking on the Mariana keyboard, and increase the pressure, you'll see that the filter cutoff opens in response to that pressure. The first group of modulation sources that you have access to are global sources that would come from a MIDI controller, such as Velocity or Mod Wheel. We also have keyboard tracking, so if we want to set up traditional filter keyboard tracking, we can just go and click on keyboard tracking and enable it with this toggle switch or toggle it on and off with the circle next to the keyboard tracking. That way, as we play lower notes, the filter will stay low. And if we play a higher note, the filter will open up. Let's now add an LFO to the low pass filter cutoff modulation. And we can do that by going to Controllers 1 and selecting LFO 1. Even though we're editing the panel control for Synthesizer 1, we can use the any of the controllers in the Synthesizer 1 controller panel, the controller 1 panel, but we can also use any of the modulation sources in controller 2. We can also choose from any control voltage sources we have routed, and you can see more about that in a video on control voltages. So let's enable LFO 1 modulation and start playing around. And we can first scale the modulation depth with the direct amount control bring it down for more subtle modulation and we can also enable bipolar control to have the modulation go above and below the current panel setting. Of course we can edit LFO1, the modulator in question, by going to its area, the controller one page, and we can adjust the rate, the waveform, and anything else we want. We can also add a controller to the modulation, choosing from any controller in the drop-down list to control and scale the modulation depth over time. Let's use the mod envelope here, and let's add a lot of delay, a lot of attack, and turn the sustain up all the way. Go to the LFO1. Again, this is we're still editing for the low-pass filter cutoff here. And choose the controller one mod envelope and put that at 100% and put the direct amount. Now when we press a key, we'll only get a little bit of modulation, but the modulation will grow as the mod envelope grows. Finally, you can assign a function to the modulation routing with the drop-down menu. In this case, let's choose SLU. We have all sorts of functions available here, and you can refer to the manual for an explanation of what each of them does. But let's add SLU, in this case, to the modulation, which will slow down the modulation source as we increase the SLU amount. So let's press a key again. And we have this square wave modulating cutoff. And as we add SLU, we slow down the square wave movement. The modulation editor of Mariana is a deep and flexible tool allowing you to design distinctive sounds and get the most out of Mariana.